Hello and welcome back to Hold Hanley Weather. There are a few interesting features that are going to be moving through the country this week. So in this video, we're going to take a look at them all. First thing you notice is there's some snow in parts of Wyoming and Colorado, and that's going to move down into Texas while much of the south is going to be getting rain. Then a nice low is going to be moving into the northwest. They're going to get some snow in Idaho, Montana, parts of Wyoming, while the western sides of Washington and Oregon, they're going to see that rain. The interesting feature on this map right now, you can see that low digging into the east coast, much of the southern locations, getting decent, some decent rainfall. And then the more northern locations where you get that cold air, Pennsylvania getting that freezing rain, parts of the northeast like Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, they're going to be getting they're going to be getting some snow with this. So in this video, we're going to look at these three different storms moving through the entire country and the exact timing of the events and what kind of numbers we're going to be looking at. So looking at the 500 millibar temperature, I want to just dive in and show what's driving this storm that you see right over Wyoming and Colorado that we looked at on that last map. Well, it's this big trough that is just slowly going to move across the entire country throughout the week. You see it digs super far south. That's why Texas is even going to be getting some snow. You can see how far south that Arctic air is getting pulled by this massive trough. You can see this is Wednesday at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon for the East Coast. And much of the East Coast is still under a big ridge as well as parts of the West Coast. It's really just this one feature that is digging through the middle of the country. And then you see it's going to rise up and hit the Northeast. Looking at the vorticity, the interesting thing is what happens at the end of the week here. So this is Tuesday. You see that low pressure right over Wyoming and Colorado. And then you'll notice the isobars are a lot closer on the left side of the trough axis. When that happens, the trough is going to get deeper and it's going to get stronger. You can see those purples really start to show up just west of Texas. Well, that's what's going to bring some nice snow into the Texas area. And you see it's exactly what happens. Digs nice and south and then a lot of vorticity at about 7 in the morning on Thursday. Let's keep an eye on this trough as it moves up the east coast. I believe it's the next slide right there. This is Friday at 1 o'clock for the east coast. So this is when you guys could be getting a nice storm. And then you can see there's a nice ridge for basically the entire western part of the country. Let's dig into some actual re regional locations so we can see what's actually happening. This is precipitation type slash rate for Tuesday, uh, Tuesday early morning for the northeast. You can see this is just when the storm's coming in. So West Virginia getting a little bit of rain, not too much. Starts to build into Pennsylvania, more northern locations of Pennsylvania. Could be getting some snow, some freezing rain. This is now early Wednesday morning. Rain has built into parts of New Jersey and maybe a little snow for the western part of Massachusetts. If you're doing the weather challenge right now, it's for Boston and I put no rain today and let's take a look at Boston. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be rain free for much of the week. I think their chance is going to be Thursday, Friday. Then you see it clears up again throughout Wednesday and Thursday. And then this is when that low that dug through Texas is going to swing up and hit the northeast. You can see basically all of Pennsylvania is covered in that freezing rain, while parts of western and southern New York could be getting some snow. That continues to move up. This is 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. You see all of northern New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, western parts of Maine, they're going to be getting that snowfall, and much of Massachusetts too. That's going to be interesting to look at if you're doing the weather challenge. Let's see what time that comes in. So it's Thursday at 1 in the morning, Massachusetts, much of the upper northeast isn't seeing anything, and then by 7 in the morning on Thursday, that low has really moved into the location. You can see it just off to the left of Pennsylvania. 
And at this point, Massachusetts and southern parts of New Hampshire could be seeing some pretty good snowfall. And then that's going to move off. Rain's going to build in behind it. That's probably with some more warmer temperatures. And then on Friday, more snow for much of New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont. And it's interesting to look at that line where the rain is getting divided from the snow. That's mostly due to the warmer temperatures because of that warm Gulf Stream. So let's look at the 24-hour accumulated snowfall for this storm. See, Tuesday into Wednesday, absolutely no snow. And then at 7 in the morning on Thursday, New York, you could be seeing 2, 2 and a half inches. And then by 1 o'clock on Thursday, remember this is when that low is really built in, uh, parts of New York could be seeing 3 inches. Southern New Hampshire could be could be seeing 3.5 inches and parts of eastern Massachusetts you're gonna you're gonna be more in the two inch range that's gonna move off and then remember that second one comes through on Friday this is one o'clock on Friday and the thing that really stands out to me is Maine you could be seeing seven inches of snow snowfall throughout basically the entire northern part of your state and then early Saturday morning, you could be up to nine inches throughout basically the entire entire state for Maine could be seeing nine inches for this storm that's going to move through at the end of this week, as well as some parts of northern New Hampshire. You could be seeing seven and a half inches. Not bad. New York, you're going to be more like four to five and western parts of Pennsylvania, maybe in the two to three inch range. So let's take a look at the south. This is back to Tuesday for that low pressure that's going to be moving in, really digging in with that cold air. And this is really when it starts to hit early, early Wednesday morning. More southern locations going to have rain, then some freezing rain and some snow for the northern parts of the state. By seven in the morning on Wednesday, much of the eastern portions of the state are getting that rainfall while well, northern locations as well as into Oklahoma, you're gonna be seeing some snow. And then, wow, the feature that really stands out here is that heavy rainfall for Louisiana. That's gonna be when this low pulls over the Gulf and that's gonna suck in a bunch of warm air and moisture that's just gonna get dumped right on top of Louisiana. That's gonna move off. But before we go to a new location, let's see what kind of snowfall numbers we could expect for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Wow, this is actually a pretty good looking storm. 10 inches right on that Texas, Oklahoma border. And then maybe even into 11 and 12 inches right on that bullseye, right on the border there between Texas and Oklahoma. While much of Oklahoma, you're gonna be more in that five inch to seven inch range. And then that's gonna move off and let's take a look at that rain that's going to move through Louisiana. So this is Wednesday, early Wednesday morning. This is before that is hit. And then 1 o'clock on Wednesday. That low is right over you. You see heavy rainfall, about 0.3 inches per hour. That's going to move in through Mississippi, Alabama, and then Georgia. And Florida could be seeing some good rainfall as well coming into Thursday and Friday. Let's now move up to the northwest to look at some of the snow they're going to be getting. And you see Tuesday into Wednesday that storm starts to come in. Snow for much of Washington moving into Idaho. Rain for the western parts of Washington and Oregon. And then that snow is going to build into Montana and Wyoming as well. And let's take a look at the 24-hour accumulated snowfall for the Northwest. Wow, that's a pretty good numbers for you guys. Maybe 12, 16 inches in parts of Washington. Wow, Idaho is going to get some good snow too. Maybe 9 inches in some places. Let's see if Montana gets some good snowfall. Oh, it really just stays in Idaho. Montana, you're going to be more in the 5 to 6 range. Wow, you can see the far northern portions of Colorado you could be seeing maybe 11 inches as well. Wyoming, maybe 7 inches. So there's a few different features that we're going to be looking at throughout this entire week. 
snowstorms northwest, south, and then northeast. I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout the week as the models get, you know, higher, resolu higher resolution. The closer you are to the exact date it's going to happen, the better the, the better the models get. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. So if you want to watch my updates on these storms, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening.